Up next, guys, we are joined by another featured speaker at DCD Connect Virginia, Ms. Miranda Gardner, Executive Director of the iMasons Climate Accord. Miranda, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Jamie. Good, glad to be here. Thanks. And I have to say, of course, we are honored I Masons members, many of us here at JSA. So um, we love you guys. Just <laughs> sidebar. Um, but um, let's get to it. Miranda, DCD Connect Virginia organizers have determined four major themes to this year's conference, one of which, of course, sustainability and the carbon reporting challenge, one of ours that are near and dear to our hearts. So, um, uh, and yours as well, what type of conversations are you expecting attendees to be having in terms of sustainability? Great, great question. Uh, you know, obviously a real hot topic on everyone's mind these days. I think as Omar kind of nicely put it, we'll be probably talking about regenerative AI and what we've seen in terms of technology shifts over the past year and how that assists with sustainability reporting, ESG metrics, how people are tracking their carbon. I think the second conversation that a lot of people will be having, especially considering the area we'll be in in DC so close is the regulatory changes that we see coming down the line. I mean, we know they're changing in Europe and Africa as well, starting in 24. So I would be really surprised if we don't hear a lot of those conversations. And then I would say probably the, the one that I'm most excited about is really how we're going to standardize a lot of these kind of metrics and tracking moving forward. You know, we all are really excited about talking about these things, how we do them and how we implement them is really going to be the pathway forward uh, in changing our, our carbon reductions uh, in the industry. Oh, so well said. Yeah. Talk is talk, but how do we how do we band together and move forward and move that needle forward as a result? All right. So um, overall, then, from a su sustainability perspective, what do you believe are going to be the key takeaways from this two day event? I think some of it will come to, you know, the panel that we're on, which I, I think we're going to chat about in, in a few minutes. Um, mm -hmm. But really, who's defining net zero or kind of um, that trend towards reductions, again, whether it's carbon or energy use, water use, um, who's defining it and how we're implementing it. I think we'll probably also discuss some of the kind of pushback we're seeing on the ESG reporting. And again, where that fits in terms of the kind of structure that we've got when we are looking at not only our industry, but kind of the real estate market as a whole. And then I think really how data centers are evolving for the next generation of all of this. So again, the, the new technologies we're saying, um, the kind of opportunities that we have with the various new material types or the, the materials that we're seeing data centers being built out at. And of course, you know, just how this connects up to our different communities and the networks that we have already established that sort of need some upgrades um, from us as the responsible owners of these buildings and facilities. Oh, love that. Love that. So let's get to it. What is your panel focus? <laughs> Our panel focus is on uh, navigating net zero CSR regulation and transparent carbon accounting. Um, I will be joined with uh, on the panel with Anna Timmy, head of sustainability for Schneider Electric, Matt File, founder and CEO of Crane Data Centers, and Vicki Warden, president and CEO of the Green Building Initiative. And so I think just from hearing those names and knowing those organizations, you can tell this is going to be quite the robust dialogue that we have on Tuesday morning. Uh, again, kind of highlighting the things that I talked about, the things that Omar was also um, discussing too, really the challenges and opportunities that we have when it comes to sustainability, carbon reductions, ESG, and kind of the whole package of being responsible stewards for our environment and planet moving forward. Oh, Tuesday can't happen fast enough. I, I'm just, I can't wait to see you all together and, and chatting about, again, these topics that we need need, need to keep uh, at the forefront of our minds collectively. And you guys are doing it so well. We should also note, iMasons is sort of, you know, all over the conference agenda, shall we say. You guys are in the me Members Summit, the Women's Luncheon, the Veterans Workforce Session, co-hosted by our friends Salute Mission Critical and Edge Connects. Got to give them some love. Um, anything else you might want to share from an iMasons opportunities perspective? Well, I mean, I'm glad you brought up all of those um, key kind of components of the event next week. Um, we're so excited to be partners with DCD. Once again, I think for me and for the organization, it's really highlighting the kind of dynamic and robust industry that we've got. Um, it helps kind of support and foster the pipeline of new talent coming into 
data centers into the digital infrastructure, it really kind of brings full circle an entire conversation about the things that are going on. You mentioned it, the women, the veteran initiative, the millennial Gen Z, sustainability. I mean, these are all pieces that sometimes move in their own silos, but really need to be part of that bigger holistic conversation. And I think that's ultimately what you'll see out of the event and of the kind of key components that we're bringing to the table as the iMasons and the Climate Accord. And totally off script, but I got to say it, if you haven't checked out iMasons or you haven't signed that Climate Accord, uh, make sure you do it. It's iMasons.org. Oh, iMasons.org or ClimateAccord.org. Uh, thanks for the plug, Jamie. We always appreciate that. You know it. <laughs> All right, Miranda, thank you so much for taking your time to share with us some of these conference highlights and preview on Tuesday's panel. We love it. Thank you so much. Thank you.